Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're doing some wedding hairstyles because fall and winter is kind of wedding time, surprisingly. So whether you're in a wedding or attending a wedding, we've got some hairstyles for you. For today, you have both myself and my medium slash short hair and my sister Anna Laura and her long hair. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the hairstyles on my hair and then she's going to be doing them on her long hair. And the benefit is that she's not exactly the friendly neighborhood hairstylist. She's a lot more like learning along with y'all. So I'm gonna help her out as she tries to recreate it. Hopefully this will just be all the great tips for you, whether you have shorter or longer hair, and it will be easy to do on the day of. We always want the easiest stuff to do because wedding days are stressful enough anyway, am I right? So that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna curl the hair. Both Anna and I are curling the hair away from our face with a one inch curling iron, which I think is just a good standard base for any formal updo or half updo. And yeah, we have some voluminous, pretty curls in. I think it's time to do this half updo. First, I shall demonstrate on my hair. Basically, we're gonna be taking three sections and twisting and pinning them, and it should all come together in a beautiful half updo. Let's go ahead and say a prayer to the twisting gods and goddesses that this goes well. All right, so first things first, let's brush back the hair on top, because you want this crown area going back, that way you get some volume. If you leave your hair parted to here, then you just have like a before your half updo, and that's not as cute. Conversely, you also don't wanna brush everything here back, because then you end up with a also don't want that. Then you're just gonna take like a three, four inch wide section right here at the crown of your head. Let's get it all smooth. And I'm just gonna give this a light tease. For once, she says light tease and she does light tease. Then I'm just gonna twist this section to the right a couple of times and pin up and into the twist. You can choose to loosen this up before or after the bobby pins, whichever works best for you. For extra hold on these, you can pin into the twist and then do one pin perpendicular to that so you're getting the crisscross effect and you're holding it as securely as possible. Pinning into the twist means that the pins are gonna be hidden the most and they're gonna stay really well. And adding that crisscross one that just kind of lays under the rest of the hair is like your hairstyle insurance. Just gonna keep it there that much better. And now we're gonna do two more of those. I'm gonna take a section on one side. I'm gonna start on my left. And as always, I'm leaving some hair around my face, sweeping it back. I'm gonna give it just the lightest of teases, smooth, and then twist, loosen, and pin. And now I'll do the same thing on the other side. And there is your short to medium version of this hairstyle. It's very quick and easy to do. As always with a special occasion, practice first, and then you can wear this to a wedding, you can be in a wedding, add some accessories into it, whatever is cute. <laughs> so there's the short hair version. Now let's have Anna Laura try it on her long hair, and it will be here to help. I'm gonna come in and help. One of the things you were doing, you were opening up the bobby pin to put it in. Okay. And one of the things that did is- uh, Grab more hair. Which isn't the wrong thing, but it ends up where you could like see the bobby pin on top, which isn't a problem for this layer, but it will be a problem for the next ones. I would just have you actually keep the mouth of the bobby pin closed and push up and in just like that. But yeah, other than that, you did great. Okay. Let's keep going. Step number two. Alrighty, this is looking good. So here's what I was saying before. You did a really great job of matching these two sections up. Now it's drooping a little bit below this. And instead of picking this up, cause I don't like that shape, I'm gonna loosen this up so that they match. And if it doesn't lay nicely down the way you want it to, you just add in a little bobby pin with them too. There we go. So now we have this nice pretty line right here. And all that took was just loosening this up so that it all flows together. And there you go. So basically you did everything right. All I did was just to like loosen things up in strategic places. And it might help to have a friend, would definitely help to have a mirror. <laughs> and it would be pretty easy to do that yourself. <laughs> Anna's doing this blind, by the way, which I've been doing forever, so it doesn't feel weird to me, but that's a lot. You're doing great. All right, here we go with the other side. All 
right, there we go. I'm gonna come in and help you finesse it because you don't have a mirror. So first thing I'm gonna do is finesse up here a little bit like we did on the other side. Go, we're just tucking and pinning. And then part of this horn is this little bubble right here. So we're just gonna push that against the head. We're gonna pull out some over here to help balance out the volume. So part of what was happening is that this section was coming up and so it was creating a bubble right here. So by flattening it down and letting it lay as it naturally would if you were to sweep it back, that keeps it from having that bubble effect and it makes it look really pretty as it goes back into the twist. So to make this twist look a little bit bigger, I just kind of untwisted it a little and I'm pinning that. And then I'm just running my fingers lightly through the ends here. And then on long hair, one thing you can add in is picking up the tails of what we twisted back and lightly teasing underneath, just down the length of the hair. This kind of helps to zhuzh up the curls and zhuzh up the volume. So you have this kind of really voluminous cascade coming down from the twist, which is always a really pretty look. But there you go, you did it, sissy. Yay! And that's the long hair version. It's very similar to the short hair, but you do have the extra cascading waves, which are very pretty and have kind of like a Blake Lively look, which we love. And now it's time for some braids. Yes, definitely. <laughs> for the short hair option, which would still work on long hair, we're gonna do this half up, half down. And then Anna Laura is gonna show you how to take it into a side braid. So you're gonna start off with a side part. I am parted as far to the side as I wanna go. And then you're going to do a lace French braid starting from your hairline and sweeping back. Once you've reached about two to three inches behind your ear, you're gonna switch to braiding normally and then hold your place with a bobby pin. Now on the other side, you're gonna sweep back kind of an equal section of hair and twist it loosely underneath the crown of your head and pin it in place by pinning into the twist a couple of times and loosening if you want to. And now we're actually almost done. First, we're gonna pull this braid apart which I guess you could do before you twist the hair if you want to, I was just getting excited. And once you have the braid as pulled apart as you like, you can sweep the end of the braid underneath the twist and pin that in place a couple of times, pinning up and into the braid, and this hairstyle's done. And there you go, quick, easy, short hair version, which, bonus points, could be really cute on a flower girl. I'm just saying. And now for the long hair version, you're going to start the exact same way with that French lace braid going back from your hairline and then braiding a couple inches normally. And then this time you can secure your hair with an elastic. Now you're gonna pull that braid apart to get it as fluffy as you want. And then we're moving on to the side braid. Now, if you have any shorter layers, you're gonna wanna do that same kind of sweep and pin that I did for the half up, half down hairstyle, just to make sure everything's gonna stay in place all day or if you have pretty much one length long hair, you can skip it. But essentially all you have left to do is bring all the hair together on one side and braid it all the way down, secure it with an elastic and then loosen it up and you're done. I'm just gonna open up this part a little bit more. I meant to it, I think you did a great job. Do you, you have a headband? I do, let me go find something for you. There you go. Oh, I love it. It's really pretty. And that's the long hair version. Again, so, so easy, so, so simple, and it looks great. I think it's time for a full on updo, even with my somewhat shorter hair. So for this, we're gonna be creating two ponytails. For the first one, you're going to sweep back most of your hair and then leave it looped on the last rotation in kind of a little chignon. And then you're going to pull everything else into another ponytail just underneath that chignon. And that's the hairstyle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now you might look a little nuts or a little bit like kind of an off ray of Star Wars cosplay, one of the two. What you're first gonna do is pull apart the hair up here to loosen it all up. So that's the top bit of the hair sorted. Now let's finish this bun situation, because it's looking really funny right now. The first thing you're gonna do is put an elastic on the very end of the ponytail we've left down. Yes, the very end of it. <laughs> it's a look. Now this is where the fun part comes in. You're going to wrap this funny little ponytail around the top of the chignon and pin that in place. Now, it still looks a little crazy because the final thing we have to do is pull it apart. Lots and lots of just little tiny pulling motions with your thumb and forefinger to get it looking the way that you want it to. You might need to pin and reposition certain pieces. If any flyaways come out, you might need to pin those as well. But in general, fluffing this out is going to give it a much more voluminous, textured, styled look. And then if you want, you can just add in an accessory and you're done. And there you go, that is the short, medium version of this hairstyle. It's a great way to get the look of an updo, even if you don't have a lot of hair. So if you need to match the rest of a bridal party or you just want your hair out of the way, 
it's a great option. Now for the long hair version. It's actually very similar, but for the long hair, you're just gonna pull all of your hair into one ponytail and leave it looped on the last rotation. Then with all the ends you have left, you're going to secure those at the end with an elastic. Now before we finish the bun, you're gonna loosen up around the top and any pieces around your face, just like I did with the short hair because obviously we want everything nice and floaty and beautiful and textured. Then with our funny little ponytail that we have left, you're also going to cross that over the top of the chignon and pin that in place, pull everything apart, pin as you go, and it's done. <laughs> Okay, this is one that definitely helps if you have a mirror and or a friend. I will be your friend. So basically at this point, you can kind of let the bobby pins guide you. You can stick them in and then put the hair where you want it and stick it in to the ponytail. And there you go, there is the wedding hair inspo. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button because you know what? Weddings, you go to a lot, you always need like a new hairstyle or a new dress or something. You just need something. So I hope this hair video helped you out in whatever way you need it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite and which one you would be most likely to wear. Do you have any weddings coming up? I actually think I might be wedding free this fall and winter. Oh, that's rare. But whether you know you're gonna use this for weddings or holiday parties or whatever, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee and Melissa. And all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Words are just wearing a full length gown in front of filming lights with hot tools. Incorrect. Duck T-Rex, duck T-Rex. Peace out.